Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about another quiz on government schemes. We have already conducted a total of 13 sessions wherein I have discussed a lot of questions from government schemes and the good news now is that all these quizzes are available on the website. So as you can see here, all these quizzes have been presented here and the videos of topics that have also been covered are also available at the same place. So you just need to go to the website and in the icon section at the top you will see a section of quizzes okay so when you click on quizzes you will see all these quizzes and you can just go to rbi grade b quizzes and when you can uh, when you go there you will see all these quizzes being lined up so yesterday we uh, did the day 13 quiz and today i'm going to start with day 14 quiz okay uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel do it as soon as possible do it now and also do not forget to press the bell icon because that will ensure that all these quizzes that I'm holding for the upcoming RBA and SEBI examination are going to be useful for you a lot. Uh, taking daily quizzes, especially for phase two, is very, very helpful. It helps you revise consistently and continuously. Okay, so here you can start with the quiz and if you have any queries or if you want to mention something specific, uh, if you have any advice uh, to me, uh, then you can uh, pro provide it in the comment section below. So by clicking here, you start with the quiz. I know the uh, the uh, entire uh, interface was not very friendly, but I have improved upon it. And now I believe it's uh, quite good. Uh, whatever feedback you have with respect to uh, the way that I'm uh, teaching and uh, everything or anything, you can uh, mention it to me in the comment section below as well. So let's start with day 14 quiz. The first question is Swajal Yojana is launched to provide safe water powered by dash for drinking cooking and all other domestic needs so this particular question is important for both phase one as well as phase two of rbi and sebi examination secondly whatever you know swajal whatever you know about swajal yojana just pause the video and revise it now because that will help you in um, asking yourself and understanding yourself whether you are able to recall things or not the question is Swajal Yojana is launched to provide safe water powered by dash powered by solar energy that is our answer for this question which is the correct answer so is the correct answer you will get all these explanations as well Swajal Yojana launched in March 2018 that is something that has been asked in the past days and years have been regularly asked so that is also important launched in March 2018 first important fact under what under national rural Drink drinking water program and ministry of drinking water and sanitation ministry of drinking water and sanitation so these two are again important facts that you need to remember the purpose is to provide safe drinking water which is powered by solar energy for various purposes with whether it is drinking cooking or other domestic needs and it is a community-led and demand-driven project, drinking water project. And it is, it is one of such projects which is led by the community. Okay. So this is important facts about Swajal Yojana. Let's come to the second question which is also related with Swajal Yojana. And I'll tell you something important here also. The question is with respect to Swajal Yojana, a community-owned drinking water program, what is correct about the coverage area? So we have to identify the correct one from about the coverage area what all areas are covered all states and UTs all 117 aspirational districts 99 out of 117 aspirational districts only water scarcity districts all states and UTs except Jammu and Kashmir the answer to this question is all 17 117 aspirational districts therefore we get to the conclusion that Swajal Yojana is also connected with aspirational districts program so they are interrelated which is happening in a lot of schemes uh, nowadays and therefore that interrelation becomes important has also been asked in the examination in the past okay so all 17 aspirational districts are also covered under Swajal Yojana third question these are the important facts that you had to remember about Swajal Yojana third question about Jalmani program the question is Jalmani program was launched in 2008 an important fact if you have not written it down in your notes do write it to provide value and quality addition to the ongoing rural drinking water supply program at the time of launch under which ministry did it come so it, it has been asked at the time of launch under which ministry did it come because now it has changed okay now it has 
changed the answer is ministry of rural development c now it has changed so let us go through it and identify which ministry does it lie in now okay it was under department of drinking water supply under ministry of rural development but a separate ministry was created in 2011 for drinking water in called as ministry of drinking water and sanitation and now it has been transferred to ministry of drinking water and sanitation it's a standalone purification uh, it installs standalone purification systems and there's another question coming up which is also connected with jal money program and it asks where are they going to install all these purification systems because that's an important question you have identified that you're going to put off put up all these uh, purification systems but where and that's what the next question is if you know the answer already provide it in the comment section below before i discuss the question just pause the video and provide it in the comment section below it will help you a lot the question is under jal money program launched in the year 2008 with the aim to provide value and quality addition to ongoing rural drinking water supply program which area of the society was preferred which area of the society was preferred whether it's whole village household schools villages with more than 10000 population or there is no specific focus area of society everybody is covered okay provide me the answers in the comment section below the answer is c schools they are the objectives to start with installing stand alone purification systems in rural schools okay Let's come to the last question for today. Hargar Jal is a national water quality submission to provide chemical free water to all citizens of India. What are the two chemicals that this mission focuses on removing from water? What are the elements or chemicals that are to be removed from water under Hargar Jal? The answer is D, arsenic and fluoride. Arsenic and fluoride. A little more about Hargar Jal HGJ National Water Quality Submission was launched in 2017 March launched when 2017 March by again Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation focused on arsenic and fluoride which are two major ground pollutants water pollutants and the allocation is 25000 crore so that is again something very important and there are three phases number 1 you diagnose the areas which are affected by uh, arsenic and fluoride you implement the policy of removing arsenic and fluoride from those water uh, contaminated areas and then also you at the same time ensure that that particular water source is not polluted again by creating a sustainable water cleaning system okay So this is all about this particular test. I hope you like the video. If you did, uh, do not press to uh, do not forget to press the bell icon and also subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm very sure you learned something new out of this. After this uh, test, what you can do is you can mention your first name and your email address, and that way uh, you will get to know your result, whether all of them are correct or incorrect, and if you are incorrect, what is the correct answer? Okay. Uh, all the very best tomorrow i'll be coming out with another lesson test uh, 15 uh, for government schemes itself till then have a nice day take care keep studying